Okay, so we are going to now be looking at the next idea, which is to do with percentiles and deciles. So let's just quickly recap for a second. I've said here that quartiles split the data up into quarters. And actually, if you think about it, the median is a type of quartile. The median is actually the second quartile because the second quartile is the second quarter. In other words, it's the halfway point. Um, and so let's talk about the next bit. It says that percentiles are going to split the data up into hundreds, just as you'd guess. This is the one that maybe people don't know so much, is that deciles split the data up into tenths. Um, I think of des from um, decimal, which makes me think of things being split up into ten. So let's just have a quick look at this. It says that the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile give you 25%, 50%, and 75% along the data, respectively. But we can actually have any percentage that you like. So for example, if there were 43 um, items in our data, and which item would we need to use for the 57th percentile? Well, it's just like you'd expect. You find 57% of 43, so that it would be the 24.51th item that you would be looking for okay so you literally just multiply by the percentage multiply by the percentage or you you find that percentage of the number of things that there are and i've also written here that you will always find these for grouped data in exams so you'll never need to do any rounding like we did for listed data you're always going to do linear interpolation OK, so here's a little example. I've said that if there were 150 items, which item or position would you use to find the 33rd percentile? So you would do 150 and you would find 33% of that. So I would do 150 multiplied by 0.33. So you would use the 49.5th position or the item and you would then do linear interpolation. So the third quartile, well, we could either do three quarters of 150, or we know that really we could just try and find 75% of it. I don't really mind which calculation you do, but it's going to end up with the same thing to find three quarters. So the third quartile, also known as the upper quartile, is just going to be the 112.5th position. Now, the seventh decile, that's saying seven tenths of the way along. So you could either do it like this, or we could do 150 multiplied by seven tenths in this way. There's so many different ways of finding that, but it's going to be the 105th item that you would be looking for. So we don't really like to use these like long words where we can avoid them. So I wanted to quickly talk to you about some of the notation that we might use. So for the lower quartile, we have so far used the notation LQ, which you may still come across, but you also might refer to it as Q1. And that really means that it's the first quarter of the way along. Um, the median, we sometimes use the letter M, but not really preferable to write that because it can get confused with the mean and the mode and other things. So the preferable one is to use Q2, which means that it's the second quarter of the way along, or the second quartile, really, um, because two quarters is a half. The upper quartile, we use UQ, but sometimes we use Q3 because it's the third quarter of the way along. And the 64th percentile, well, we use a capital letter P and we just do a little 64 in the corner to show that it's the 64th percentile. Now, the third decile, there's a few different ways we could write this. We could write it with a capital D with a little three to say that it's um, the three tenths of the way along the data. Or you could say that it's the 30th percentile. And that's because three tenths is the same as 30 percent. The 25th percentile, well, the 25th percentile we could say is, is P25, but actually we know something about the 25th percentile. Think to yourself, what is the 25th percentile the same as? Well, the 25th, <clears throat> the 25th percentile is the same as the lower quarter, or Q1, because it's just 25% of the way along the data. So I guess there's some other ways I could write these. We said for this first one I could say it's P25, this one could be P50, could even be D5 to say it's the fifth decile. Obviously, we don't really use these very much. The upper quartile would be the 75th percentile. But again, it's not going to be very useful for us to use that. So it's just about being aware of all of these different things um, so that if you ever see this notation, you know exactly what you need to do.
So what I think you should try now is to go back to exercise 2C and to try the remaining questions that are there, okay? Um, some of them were about the median, now you can go back and do the ones to do with the lower quartile, upper quartile, deciles and percentiles.